birthdays are so much fun. <laughs> you get to celebrate a new year, look forward to what's going to happen in the upcoming year, all of those things. But this year I got a birthday surprise that I did not enjoy. Keep watching to find out more. This is Kyla Denagno and I'm going to tell you all about a birthday treat that I did not enjoy. So this last week was my birthday and thank you. I hear you all telling me happy birthday. <laughs> and so I always schedule my annual physicals around my birthday. So as I mentioned on here before, I am a consultant. So I am not a full time employee anywhere as of December 2021. So I'm on my husband's insurance and thankfully he's able to cover me and it allows me to have an annual physical. So I go to meet with my primary care physician and you know she takes my weight, we do blood pressure, um, she runs my vitals, she also does a blood test as well. So while I'm at the doctor I get on the scale, it turns out I'm 212 pounds. Great number for me. <laughs> I've not necessarily had fluctuations in my weight but I have had two really big times where my weight has changed. One of them was when I was studying for the bar exam and the other one was when I was pregnant for my daughter. So those were two really big things where my weight has changed and I've gone through a number of different things to get my weight down. At one point I was even on high blood pressure medicine and so I lost weight to get off of the blood pressure medicine. So I have gone through things and tested my body but I want to make this clear. I love my body. This body has grown a baby, birthed a baby, gotten me to 38 years. I mean this is this is my body <laughs> and I don't say that lightly because I had to fight and kick and scratch to love my body and we'll talk about that in some future episodes. So I'm inviting you to come on this journey with me. It's called Health at 38 and we are going to work on all this stuff but I had no problem with hearing 212 pounds because my weight is actually down from where it was the last time I was at the doctor so I walk out of there feeling good <laughs> until so the problem was when I looked at the labs the lab results actually came in on my birthday and I'm like okay let's take a look you know usually it's some numbers I don't quite know what they're saying it's just this is the average range you fit in here you know all those things so I see a note from my doctor and then I see all the test scores and I'm trying to look at the test scores but before I can even get there things just catch my eye in her message pre-diabetic high cholesterol immediately start a low-fat diet start exercising regularly come back in three months to find out where you are bam 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 um, she got me that really shook me and I am going to talk to you about cholesterol I'll talk to you about what high cholesterol is because for the last couple of days I've just been spinning and trying to figure out what is this that's going on why can't I tell what's happening in my body you know when I hear cholesterol I think that I'm eating steaks every day following that with some eggs maybe some gravy and sausage and that's just not how I eat. So I am extremely surprised to find out that diagnosis that my doctor gave me. And I am about to go through this very, very different journey and I wanted to take you with me. So there are some non-scientific things, <laughs> unscientific. There are some Kyla specific things that I'm going to track over the next three months. The first one is I'm going to take an image of my face you know just my profile and my face to see if my skin changes as I start to change my diet. I'm also going to take photos of myself in the same shorts and top. I haven't decided which one but I'm going to take images in that to see if I lose weight. Losing weight is not the goal but I imagine that when I change my diet I have a feeling that that's going to lead to a little bit of weight loss. So I will take images and compare those over the months to see what that's going to be like. And I'm also going to include a scale check which I'm going to do those on YouTube lives because I hate getting on the scale and there's a whole reason why it's, it's a bunch of stuff and I will do that live if there are two people here. If there's no one here I'll record it live so that you can actually know that I'm going to get on there and see because that's going to hold me accountable to it because otherwise I would not be doing it. And then lastly I'm going to take images of my chest and my arms because I do have eczema on my skin and I'm curious to see if my eczema clears up as I change my diet. Okay so 
I was not expecting this. Not at all. I don't feel like anything is going on. So the diagnosis really did shock me and surprise me. The recommendations of my doctor really surprised me. But I'm going to stick to it and we are going to get it done. I enjoy my life. I definitely want to stay around for my daughter. And whatever I can do, whatever I can control, which includes my diet, to keep me around here longer, I'm going to do it. Okay, so leave a comment. Let me know if you have ever tried a low-fat diet. Let me know if there's any recipes that I have to try, anything I should stay away from. And I will keep you posted in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.